Behind me, I've got the Gemberhead Reboot. Let's take a quick look and I'll show you what you need to know about this red light therapy panel. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfigures.com. Now today, I'm going to do a quick look at the Gemberhead Reboot red light therapy panel. Now, this panel has been for sale over at gemberhead.com for some time now. Um, I haven't looked at it, I haven't tested it before, so I was keen to check it out and I do know that they are working on a second gen panel, however due to the ongoing chip, um, chip delays and shipping issues and all those sort of crazy things happening in the world at the moment, uh, they've had to push back their second gen panel for, for a bit longer. So I'll be having a quick look at this panel, the, the, the first gen reboot panel, um, I'll have a quick nosy, run through the features, run through the the key specs and uh, I'll give you a bit of background on the panel and then be sure to subscribe because I will be doing a full review in time after I have played with this panel for some some weeks. So what do you need to know about Gemberhead and their reboot panel? Well I consider Gemberhead to be the, the geeks or, or the nerds of the red light therapy space and I mean that in a good way. So for instance the founder of Gemberhead, Andrew Latour, who I know personally, uh, he is an engineer and um, very, very switched on when it comes to all things light, electrical engineering, um, red light therapy, of course. And uh, to be honest, as someone who's been in the red light therapy space for many years and read all the articles and research papers and done tons of experiments, I still go, I still reach out to Andrew when I have, you know, some questions about some technical matters such as, you know, flicker and beam angles and, you know, that sort of jazz. So, um, yeah, that's, that says a lot about the company, right? Uh, you know, if you buy it from Gemberhead, you're going to get something that is, it's not just a, it's not just a clone copy with a fancy uh, logo on it. You know, some serious thought has gone into their po into their products. Design-wise, uh, for those that have been in the red light therapy space for a while, it'll be quite familiar. Uh, it's actually the same design panel, same design as the Juve Solo Gen 1 panel, which I have one or two of them lying around here. Gemberhead have totally uh, uh, re-engineered and um, redesigned the, the internals from the ground up. So, so what does this mean? Well, the way I like to think of it is the Gemberhead reboot is kind of like a, a tricked out you know, Toyota or, or Ford. Um, on the outside it looks kind of plain and boring and oh yeah, it's just another car. But on the inside, there's some serious performance hacks. Um, and that's what we're seeing in the, the Gemberhead reboot, reboot here today. So uh, let me open it up. And what I'll do is run through some of those key, key new feature upgrades and uh, we'll fire it up and I'll share my impressions. And um, like I said, we'll do a full review in time. Okay, here it is. It's uh, bringing back memories, reminding me of the uh, old Juve solo days many, many years ago. So um, before we look at the panel and the specs, uh, let's run through what came in the box. So we get a power cable. Um, I should note that the power cable is for American plugs. I don't know if Gemberhead ship internationally. I think they might only be in America. Now, um, I'll, I may be wrong on that. So I'll, I'll look into it and I'll make sure I, I know all the shipping rates and whether they do international shipping in my full review video. Um, I will have to use an adapter for this particular cable then. We do have a pulley system, we have the hooks for the top that's drawn on the top. Um, it does also come with a door hanging adapter which I don't have with me right here. Uh, we also got this ruler. Now I haven't seen this before in any of the uh, accessories that come with red light therapy panels. Uh, it's quite a nice uh, wooden ruler with the Gemberhead branding on it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of neat. I I don't know whether this is like a nice little gift, uh, you know, something to have on your desk um, to remind you of Gemberhead, or if it has some practical use so you can know how far away to stand um, from the panel. Uh, I'm not too sure, but either way, I mean, it could be used for both, right? So that's cool. And then you've got a one page here. Uh, uh, what I'll call a cheat sheet. So, cheat sheet. So it's got your setup instructions, um, how to use it, a few bullet points around, you know, how to use it and, and how long and all that sort of jazz. And then um, if you have problems, returns and all that. All right. So now let's have a look at the panel. So what do you need to know? Now, the first thing about this that I should have mentioned a long time ago, apologies, is the price. Now, this particular panel sells for 990 US dollars. 
I believe discount code Alex Alex will save you five percent. So that'll save you fifty dollars or so, bring them bringing the price down to nine hundred and forty. It's still up there, considering um, as we'll see shortly, it doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles that a lot of these new panels have. Jimbered are okay with that. You know, they they want this to be a high powered, high spec, basic sort of plain panel, if that makes sense. Which is totally cool. I you know I get that. I kind of like that. Um, especially uh, after I film this, I'm going to be doing my Juve Gen 3 review and I've been playing with that the last few days and, and hours to, you know, make sure I'm fresh for the review and, and that is, you know, that's that's advanced piece of technology. You've got apps, you've got various controls and all those buttons on the side, um, whereas this particular panel, we've got one switch and that's it. Uh, it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's very, very basic to use. And yeah, I mean to be honest, I have to be I have to be critical of that because there are some things that are missing that I would like to see on it. Um, but that's why it will be interesting to see what Jimbury come out with their second gen panel. Anyway, um, what else do you need to see? As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five LED clusters. Now again, this is is the exact same design as the Juve Solar. Uh, so you've got small gaps in between each. Uh, LED cluster which is a bit of a bummer because you're not getting even light through there um, nothing special on the side here there's no branding just air vents no control panels no switches on the top we have the mounting screw in points so you can hang this from the door or from a hook and one switch and that's it there's no option to switch between red and the infrared or anything like that on the back, one, two, three, four, five fans, very little um, rubber door feet, and uh, a bit of a sticker here showing what this panel is made up of. And working from the bottom up, we see that there's 150 3 watt LEDs. And what's interesting here, and this is one of the big differences between this and like the Juve Solo, for instance, there's actually four wavelengths. So this Jimbered reboot puts out 630, 660, 830, and 850 nanometers. Okay, so what's interesting with the LEDs here, like I said, four wavelengths, but they split. Um, there's a bit of a unique blend uh, between how the LEDs are split. So we have 20% of the LEDs going to 630 nanometers, a third going to 660, 23% going to 830, and 23% going to 850. So it's quite a unique blend there. Uh, I'm sure the guys at Jimbered have a lot of science and rationale to support these numbers. But again, this is just, it shows how it's not just a copy-paste clone product or or even, um, you know, just, oh, let's chuck in a few more wavelengths and just split them evenly, 25, 25, 25, 25. You know, there has been, I'm sure there's been a lot of time and research that's gone into this panel. Okay, um, so internally, we've apparently got High quality LED lenses, uh, 60 degree beam angles, meant to be good power put it, uh, output, meant to be low flicker, um, low EMF, all those good things. And um, it's also meant to be quite quiet on the noise front. So um, that will be interesting. I'll be testing all these things in my review very soon. Um, so be sure to subscribe and hang around for that. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do now is just fire this, fire this up, have a quick look, wrap up this video, and then I'll get testing it and come back in a week or two once I have had, you know, put it through the paces and share my um, full experiences. All right, so it's all plugged in. Let's fire it up. Very easy to do. One switch at the top and that is it. There we go. All right, so I can straight away, I can see the um, differences in the red light there. It's quite a unique pattern going on. It is quieter than um, what I'm used to with body panels like this. And that's really all there is to show you. There's no fancy control panels. There's no app to sync with it. Um, yeah, like I said, one button on the top. I mean, it's kind of cool in a, an old school sort of way, but yeah, if I was designing my perfect panel, I'd have at least a few more options and the inbuilt timer, all those good things that uh, actually do, you know, help help the user, help help the end user um, get the most from their panel. Otherwise, um, I don't really know what else to talk about. To be honest, for what you're getting, design-wise, and bells and whistles and all that, and even accessories, I think the $990 price point is, is way too high. I mean, it, you know, like, 
you can spend that money and go elsewhere and get some really cool panels. But it's hard to say uh, how they compare without testing all the, uh, you know, the power, the flick of the EMF. I'm sure they're going to be good, but at the same time, you know, the fact that we've still got these gaps, um, the fact that we don't have an inbuilt timer, the fact that we um, don't have nice manuals and a few other bits and pieces that are included with some of these uh, other panels. I don't think it's going to be like my top pick recommendation wise. And um, unless that price was, you know, maybe like six, seven hundred dollars, I, I, you know, it's going to be hard to really sort of justify, yeah, let's race out and buy a Jimbery. But hey, when I do my full review, I'll get my spectrometer out, I'll do all the good testing, uh, test the flicker and all that. And who knows, there may be something interesting that has gone in behind the scenes. But uh, for now, I just wanted to do a real quick first look, first impressions. Um, share my thoughts, show you guys what's just arrived and um, let you know what's coming up in the red light therapy review channel here at uh, alexvegas.com. If you do have any questions or if you want me to cover anything in particular when I review this product, leave a question below and I'll be, I'll be sure to address that in my full review. Alright, until then, I'll see you later.